In other news, climate tolerant rice varieties are being developed in the country. Two such varieties will soon be distributed by the International Rice Research Institute. Freddie Abando reports. The International Rice Research Institute is working closely with the Department of Agriculture in addressing the recovery of rice production in provinces hit by Typhoon Yolanda. Rice is a political commodity. Production is tied to income for farmers, supply for consumers. It occupies one third of Philippine agriculture. The other two thirds is occupied by rice, by coconut and by corn. So if you look at Philippine agriculture, it's rice, coconut and corn. And so if rice occupies that third in terms of the farming community, it occupies most of the population in terms of food. That's why it's political. Everybody's interested in it. Now, it's also political because when people are hungry, they worry. And when farmers don't get enough income, they get restive. Areas provided climate-tolerant rice varieties to be distributed to farmers in Leyte, Capiz, Aklan, and Antique. It's a substantial volume of siege which will be bred by farmers to be planted in these provinces. Initially, there are two varieties. The submarino, which can survive floods for 15 days. The salinas, which can grow in salty conditions. Yung nabigay namin almost 11, uh, 11 isang tuniladang dalawang klaseng binhe. Uh, yung, tina, yung 238 at saka 220. Yung RC, ito yung mga release varieties. Pero mataas pa ang purity nito. Ito yung aming ibinigay sa uh, Department of Agriculture. Who I think... Uh, uh, pumili sila ng mga farmer cooperators who will produce the seeds mm. so that uh, hindi sapat kasi yun eh, yung 11 tons that's only about uh, uh, several bags of 20 kilos mm. kasi 20 kilos per hectare ang normally uh, recommendation namin eh. so pinamigay ng DA yun sa mga key uh, farmers with good uh, irrigation muna para maparami yung binhi na yun so that uh, pagkatapos nitong season na ito, may distribute sa mas maraming farmers within the Yolanda victims. The area is also working closely to develop a third climate-resistant variety. If consumers can buy a three-in-one coffee, farmers can expect the same for rice. Research is now in put in one rice variety, seeds which are not only tolerant to flooding and salination but also to droughts. Ito yung mga varieties na uh, bukod sa uh, nakaka-tolerate sa flooding, pagka yung the same field eh, na exposed naman sa drought, the same plant can survive to a certain uh, level. No? Yung, yung bukod dito, merong mga areas na naapektuhan ng uh, salt. No? Yung yung salinity problem. Meron ding genes na na-identify ngayon. Isinasama pa rin dito sa the same variety so that this variety can uh, have uh, three genetic uh, uh, traits na can tolerate flood. Again, as I've said, during vegetative stage, drought, uh, even uh, up to a certain level din ang kanyang. And then yung uh, tolerance uh, salt. For the People's Television Network, this is Freddie Abando reporting.